Alrighty, Lumberjacks, welcome back to another Logging from Scratch episode. Oh, that was weird. I was going in reverse for some reason. Is my joystick doing that? Anyway. Sorry, I was just running in backwards and I wasn't holding down the S key, so I was wondering what was up with that. Um, so, uh, what were we doing last time? It's been a while since I recorded, or it feels like it's been a while. It's probably only been like three days. A lot happens in three days, okay? Hard to determine. So we were, looks like we were processing. Was that what we were doing last time? We were loading? My god, what were we doing, people? I can't remember anymore. We were... Oh, cleaning up this road. We had a log trailer. Yeah, okay, so let's let's keep, let's keep loading. Can't remember what we did last time. Maybe we were processing. Who knows? Who cares? So OBS just put out a new version of its recording software. It's version number 23, I think it was. So that's what we're using right now to record, and apparently it's 66% um, higher, um, like, uh, performance. So you don't lose a big, you don't have a huge performance spike while you're playing. So, I guess we'll test this out once we start loading the heavy stuff, but I can already tell already, uh, based on the frame rate and stuff, that it's a lot smoother. So, oh, uh, are we supposed to go this way? Well, we're going this way. This eventually will be our logging road, so I guess it's about time we test it out. Minus the stumps, we'll have to come back and get rid of those. So our logging road will be all the way in here. But we're not going to go all the way in there because we still have a lot of trees to get rid of. So I was able to fix the tracks on these guys as well, so that's kind of exciting. The tracks now operate much smoother. They turn a lot nicer. Um, they can run over stumps a lot better. I'm pretty sure you could probably still get them stuck, but... For the most part, it's pretty good. Oh, you know what we could do? Let's let's load from the back. Let's be weird. Just because I don't want to trek back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. I don't want to do that. So let's back it in. This might be even worse. This might take longer because of how long it might take me to back it in there. I don't know. Maybe we'll maybe we'll pro it up here and just look like we know exactly what we're doing. I'm already feeling like we don't know what we're doing. So let's find out. Let's get out of this bush so I can see what I'm doing here. Run over some sticks. Just need to tilt it that way a little bit, and then the other way a little bit. Should we load it from the... Can we load it from the back? How far... We won't be able to reach very far, though. That's a thing. Hey. Let's try it. What do we got to lose? What do we got to lose? Let's Let's load it from the back. We'll be weird today. Just shuffle these past our cab here. I don't know if this is a better idea, but it's definitely an idea. <laughs> we might only have enough here to fill, you know, a bunk or so anyway. There's definitely advantages to loading from the back and from the front. I would say advantages from the back, you get to... You can line up your trees a lot nicer in the back. Because you can see how much spread there is between... The width of the bunks, bunks. So that's nice. Let's see if we can. There we go. I'll just give this a little light tap. See, whoops, light tap. That was apparently not so light. And yeah, now we don't have to trek as far, and we can just keep backing that load up if we really want. So maybe what we'll do is we'll bring this one up here a little further. Yeah, let's do this, and then we'll back that truck up a little bit more. It's kind of a weird way to load, and we're not going to get the best, uh, the best coverage doing it this way, but I think it'll be, I think it'll be alright. I think it'll work. Let's try about there. We'll do it nice and close. And this stuff's really nice and close, so we should be able to just do a nice scoop here. Grab it a little bit further down. There we go. Oh, I guess, whoops. I guess we need a screenshot of this, too. How about that? Load it from the back. I'm actually going to be doing an update on uh, Grizzly Mountain here. I don't know how it'll treat our map, though, so I'm kind of scared to do it. But what I want to do is I want to get rid of these... So a big problem for a lot of people are these little uh, trees right now. These ones that are just kind of laying around. Because what happens is they respawn and they cause graphics issues and they cause spawning issues. Um, 
I thought it'd be a cool idea because I thought the way Giants had them was they were just there and they were permanently there. But every time, apparently, you reload the map, the sticks reload or something happens to them if you don't sell them. So I'm kind of a little bit uh, annoyed by that system. So I'm going to, on future maps, you're never going to see those logs. I'm not going to do those anymore just because they're not quite what I expected them to be. Um, so I'm trying to think of a way. I was trying to think of a way to, like, use them on maps that would be useful, but I can't really think of anything, because everything that I think of uh, will just be kind of the same way that they are, how they just spawn on the ground. And if you got to reset them all the time, I mean, what's the point? It's just a waste of effort. So we're not going to use those anymore going forward. Stupid sticks. Stupid sticks. All right, and at the end of this episode... Or near the end of this episode, I gotta remember I was gonna do some shoutouts too, cause um, I guess you guys really like the idea of um, me doing like a little shoutouty thingy. When I uh, see your guys' comments on there, I'll I, I look back and I kind of review them. So I'm not super like I don't go through and like thoroughly look through exactly which ones to do. So after this, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna bring up my comment section and I will just randomly scroll through it on my side side computer screen here and I will shout out to those who require it but it's fun to it's fun to look back and involve you guys in the series kind of thing I don't know it's different right a lot of you guys got some interesting ideas about how things should be done so it's fun to <clears throat> it's fun to hear your guys' thoughts on stuff oops that's gonna be interesting isn't it I don't like the way this is going here. Let's straighten this up a little. And we'll just crush it all together. There, that's better. Little bit toita. Uh, I don't like that one, though. There we go. And I don't like that one either. Can I just bite that over? Stay with your friend. Stay with your friend. Did some kind of wacky load in here, but the point is we will get a load out of it, so that's good. Mm, it's gonna do some crissy crossy messy stuff, which we don't want. So let's just give this one a little pinch. Oh, there we go. And we're gonna butt this up here. Doot. Butt that whole section up there a little bit. Actually, doesn't look too bad from the back side. That's what she said. Oh, damn. Actually, I'm just going to carry this up to this pile because we're getting into the good stuff here. We actually have room we could probably pull alongside. This actually worked out good because I can probably back that sucker up right next to me here and start piling on the other bunk. Because <clears throat> this back bunk's getting pretty full. I'm actually going to lock that because I have a terrible feeling it's just going to fall off there. That would not be good. Can I get more of an angle out of that? I don't know. It's going to be close. There we go. I think this is our best case scenario right here. So I'm just going to back this up kind of like that. See? Like a professional. It's like I know what I'm doing. Don't think I... Don't, please don't think I know what I'm doing, because most of the time I definitely don't have a clue. Now the question is, will all that fit on that back bunk? I think it will. Yeah, nice. I'll call that back one full. That's good enough. And we get one, <laughs> we get one stick for the front bunk. No, we can put one more stick on the back. We can get one more on there, I'm sure, somewhere, hey? Well, maybe, maybe not. I kind of want it to slip right down into this little pocket right here. Oh, perfect! Yeah, perfect. Okay, actually, let's move the loader first. Because we're almost in the block! That's kind of exciting. Finally got this wacky little road cleaned up. There's lots of little bits and pieces we... A lot of people want me to bring a chipper up here. I saw comments about that, so... Oh, we got shorts. Ooh, this could make things interesting, maybe, hey? Let's throw that over there. I don't need that. 
Don't need that. All right, let's see what happens here. Look at that beautiful ball, beautiful load of bunky goodness. All right, oh, can't get in through the fan on the back apparently, so that's we tried. Hey, so I think we'll be able to just fill that that front bunk. Whoops, we're gonna run to the pile here. There we go. Turn, turn. There we go. Oh, maybe a little more. Should be close. Yeah, we'll fill out that front bunk with shorts, and I think that'll be kind of a double load, medium length and shorts. We actually get these loads all the time at the mill, like this one that I'm loading right now. Oh, I don't want to put that ugly stuff on the bottom. I just want some, some big chunky logs to put on the top. They're on the bottom. Yeah, these ones are good too. If you don't put those hairy rat tails on the bottom, it builds a way nicer load, let me tell you. You put all that crap on the bottom first, oops, and it uh, sure makes it nasty. Even that one's a little scrawny. I'm just mashing this trailer up here. There we go. And then after you kind of get like a base built for the bottom, it doesn't really matter what you throw in there because it'll all just squish down. But I usually try to keep the bottom at least a nice platform to work on and then like I said, you can just add whatever you want in between and the weight of the rest of it should just squish it all down. And we'll put this over here. Perfect. Lock this in here. Ooh, there we go. Thought we were going to lose that little one. Little ones don't like to hang out. They like to just squirm away on you. Alright, now we got a little bit more back here. I think we'll have to move that up. And, well, I don't know if we'll be able to get all that on there, but it would be nice if we can clean up all of these shorts so that we can throw a load of longs on. And then I think we actually have a whole pile of shorts over here, too. Yeah, we do. At least one bunk worth, anyway. I don't think I did any other shorts. It was all longs. We'll burn through this wood real quick for loads if we just have longs. Loading them is uh, a lot quicker, that's for sure. Just gonna lock that because we kind of had it built pretty nice there. It's kind of ideally where I want it. Right about there should be good. We're a little close to the cab, but. That ah, shouldn't be a problem. They're not very long, so. If I was doing longs, I'd say, yeah, we gotta move the truck, but when you're doing shorts, it shouldn't be. Shouldn't be an issue. Sometimes the lighting's just right. It's so dark that it's really hard to tell, depth perception wise, how much you got left to grab. We could make it a really wacky load and load some sideways. <laughs> the illegal load, we would call that. This ugly thing. I don't even want this stick on there. Look at that ugly piece of crap, all bent and wacky looking. Go over there. Be with your fellow trees. We do not want you. Now, ah, there's no way I'm going to get all those on there. Unless I cheat and do some something really weird. You guys want to do something real weird? Because we could try. What I could do is try to load them suicide style. Them back. She kind of got that gap in between the front and back bunk. That sounds like a terrible idea. Let's do it. Run over a bush or two here, there, guys. There we go. Oh yeah, that's about where we wanted it. 
Actually, we're a little far away. Let's go this way a little bit. Just a little bit. Forget to straighten out those tires. Yeah, right about there, sure. See how much we can get on this bunk. I think probably this will be the last grapple I'll be able to fit on there. But we could try to we could try to fit some in between. Do something weird here. Actually, it's looking a little low on the front, so we'll put the butts towards the front here. Can we scoop that up any? Not really, hey? What if I just gently place it right there? I still feel like we have a little bit of room here. Like right in here. Oh, that's pretty tight. I'd say that's about as high as we can get that. Let's cheat. Let's try to see if we can stuff them sideways. I'm always up for a challenge. Suicide style may not be the way to go, so prepare yourselves this might be ugly but I just want to literally lay some like right in here not only does it make the truck larger or wider oops oh geez careful Ugh. okay let's grab them from like the very end here so we can just kind of hold them like a cigarette and slide it on in here Hopefully I'm not the only person who's ever used that term before. Uh-oh. Oh, it doesn't like that at all. Stay in the truck, you baggers. Now, what do you think will happen if I try to lock that? You think that'll lock them? That's the weirdest thing I've ever done. I'd probably say never do that again. That's all we got for shorts, though, is literally just that little bit. The rest is all longs over here. So let's try... <laughs> Let's try it. What do we got to lose, right? So, lock it. Oh, it locks, kind of. Kind of locks, I guess. Oops. Oh, jeez. We didn't even realize I had this stick falling off on the front here. Can I carry you? No, you're too heavy. How about now? Now I can carry you. How about that piece? Oh, that piece is too heavy still, eh? how you get her done right here. Ain't got time to play games here, kids. Hey. Actually, I don't trust that one. There we go. Let's see how much of that makes it back. Now, that's a different way to have a load, right? Come on. You've never seen anything like that before, I bet. See if we can wind it through our little road here. Now that's not something you'd want to take on the highway, but from block to block or just to a sorting yard, maybe you can get away with that. We still gotta take out these stumps. Oops. Oh buddy. That was a bad call. You know what? I think we're gonna cheat and go out. Just on this load, we're gonna cheat because I don't think we'll clear. I don't think we'll clear that. So let's just go this way, just because of our wacky loading style. Let's see, we should be able to fit right through here, though. Beauty. We could have made a road out to here, but that's just not as fun. <laughs> All right, we'll get this to the mill. Um, we're not going to unload it this episode because we won't have enough time. Because I want to do some uh, quick a uh, comment uh, shoutouts. Okay, here we go. That's the weirdest thing I've ever done with a load, though. Like, without a doubt. I've never loaded anything like that. Now, there are some trucks that are built to load like this. Like, sideways like that. Or trailers, sorry. But they are not this kind of... This kind of length. Like, they put shorter logs on there, for sure. Alright, so that's ready to go. Next episode, or one of the episodes, we'll unload that. That's the weirdest load I've ever seen. It was beautiful up until we started doing that, but these actually loaded up really nice. I was blown away by how the weight settled, so that's good. All right, so quick. Uh, oh, I don't have it open. That's okay. We'll open it now. You guys don't get to see, though, because I don't want you to see everybody's comments. Maybe some people don't want to be shouted out. All right, okay, we're going to jump back here in time. Oh, my God, it's tabbed into the game. 
Okay, I was trying to make the window bigger, but apparently I'm not smart enough for that. Okay, so we're going all the way back to whatever date this is. We're just going to scroll around randomly. Uh, dee, 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 dee. We had Michael Poirier, who was asking about uh, how to get the Buncher Head unlocked for Farming Simulator 2015. Uh, and I, all I had to say was, I think it's the Q button, because I have no idea. Uh, Jacob Reddit, he always comments on there. Shout out to Jacob. He's talking about having um, too many trees and too much equipment in one spot can cause problems. Yeah, agreed. FPS, man. But actually, today's episode went really smooth. I didn't see very many frame rate drops, so... I think OBS has finally fixed that there. Combo Gaming says, Hello! Hello, Combo Gaming. What's up? Uh, we have Fatman37. He says, I love your videos. Keep on making these. And we will. As long as we have guys like you loving us, we will keep loving you with more episodes. Uh, what else we got here? Uh, Louis Bruno says, Keep up the great work on your mods that you make. Thanks, buddy. Love you back. Uh, I can't even pronounce this name. I think it says Control FRK Gaming, but it's spelled Control with a K because it's leet like that. Uh, he says he can't wait for mods to start releasing. I told him there are mods out right now. Go get them. Go get those mods. They're great. But yes, we do have lots of great content coming still. Uh, who else we got here? Jesse Jesk. Or I apologize if I put your names. It's just the way it goes. Uh, he says, hi, love your videos. Can you make a buncher? When well, we're working on a buncher, we got a head. That's happening. So that's that's a good start. Um, you guys will probably start seeing snippets of that stuff come out here over the next next few episodes or Lord knows when we do the next stuff. Uh, D -d 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 -d. Drake Sullivan says, thanks for the shout out. Well, you just got another shout out. So that was from the last shout out video. Uh, dee -dee -dee, we got, oh my god, how can I pronounce this name? I think he said something about pronouncing his name. It's J. Corian Murray, J. Corian, maybe? It's J A H C O R Y I A N, J. Corian. That's how I'm going to say it. He, said, he wants us to see, he says, I like the videos and don't worry about getting my name right, or, or, and worry about getting my name right. Well, I just got your name probably horribly wrong. J. Corian. That's what we're going to call you. Even if you correct me, that's who you are going to be for the rest of my time. <laughs> the J. It's like, reminds me of Dre Corian. Or was it Darkonians? Jesus. I don't know. It was Dune. Draco Draconians, right? Draconians? Yeah, I think it's Draconians. Dre. Uh, Shark Hunter Gaming was asking what MS... Oh, yeah. I can just show you guys real quick. That MSI thing uh, that I... I think I brought up in an episode. It's MSI Afterburner, something I use. So this thing is basically an overclocking program for your video card. Now you got to be really careful with these, so don't just rush out and buy one and play with it or buy it, download it. Um, it allows you to set your own custom fan speeds and stuff like that, so you can change how your video card overclocks and heats. You can change the power, the core clock, all that stuff. As you can see, I have nothing done to my video card. Because it's a very ex a Titan X Pascal. Well, it was very expensive when I bought it. It's probably worth $10 now. Who knows? But um, I just want this program to set the fan speed. So when it gets to a certain temperature, the fan just like full bore ahead just gives her. That's that's really important for gaming for me. So that's what MSI Afterburner is for Shark Hunter Gaming. Um, hey, Robo. Uh, he wants to know if we can make placeable stakes. Um, there's no way to really do placeable stakes. Like, we'll have different configurations of trailers and stuff, but you won't see placeable stakes uh, anytime soon. Um, Alex Head wants to know if we're going to make a helicopter for FS19. So, cool news. Um, we did finally get in touch with 50 Kda modding group there, and he uh, said we are allowed to use his winch system on our forestry equipment. Um, I'll credit him for that and all that as well. So you'll see his name pop up in credits. You'll probably see his logo. I'll include that on anything released with, um, like any videos released or anything like that. But he'll definitely be in the credits. 50 Kata is the one who made the winch. Uh, the whole winch script, that whole system. He built all that. And he has generously 
like he did in 2017, giving us the ability to use that on our logging equipment. So I'll be trying to find ways to enter and incorporate that. Um, so to come back to Alex Head's question, are you going to be making a helicopter for FS-19? The plan is yes. There hasn't been any helicopter scripts come out yet or any redone ones. I would love to find whoever does the flying scripts or whoever was the original person. If anybody knows him or knows of him, contact me at fdrlogging at hotmail.com. Send me a message because I want to get in touch with that person. I would love to work with them to figure out if they're going to bring the scripts forward. I want to I wanna bring back the forestry helicopter because I think we could have some real good times. So, yeah, that answers that. And I'm going to pick one more person. Who's it going to be? How about this guy? He wants shout-outs. His name is... I'm going to butcher this, too. Oh, God, how do I say this? Deverick? Did I, spell, did I say that right? Deverick Hartman? God, I hope it... He's got, like, a big John Deere logo for his picture. I want to say Deverick Hartman. I could be wrong, but that's how my white Anglican accent pulls it out. So, shout-out to you, buddy, because you asked for it, and now you got it. I don't think there was anyone else begging for a shout-out this time around, or at least if there was, I probably missed it so you know what leave a comment and i will uh i'll try my best to give you a shout out in these random videos i don't do it every video i sometimes roll back on these and take a look but anyway um this video has run for a little while i just wanted to kind of have some fun with you guys so uh if you like the video leave a like leave a comment do not forget to subscribe and if you're in the bush try to find a tree hold on if you're in the bush there we go don't forget to hug a tree all right guys we will catch you on the next one. See ya.